In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Dirty Wave M8 tracker on the Ambernic Handel consoles and how to create the TNC for them. So, first of all, you need you will need some hardware. You will need, of course, one console. This is, for example, the RGXX and this is the RGXX Plus. I would recommend you get in one of these or the Cube XX as well. Uh, or the horizontal version of this because they have Wi-Fi and they are easier to configure. I was able also to install it on a normal original RG35XX. I will demonstrate using Wi-Fi first. And then you will need a TNC board. You will need a TNC 4.1. And then you will probably need a USB cable. You, I think you have plenty of them at home. You need a micro USB to a USB A. And then you will also probably need a converter from A from USB A to USB C. Let me try to connect it. Okay. Yeah, just because the the Ambernic only has a USB C connector, so you will need some kind of adapter to make it work. Then you will also need to buy a couple of SD cards. One for the console for the the firmware in the console, and the other one for the TNC. And my recommendation is just to use a smaller SD card for the console. You will not use a lot of space unless you want to install a lot of games as well. Uh, so maybe a 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte will be more than enough for the for the console. But if you want to use the Dirty Wave um, M8 tracker on the TNC and you want to add samples and instrument, then you will probably need a bigger SD card for the TNC. So maybe 64 gigabytes or even 128 gigabytes will be recommended if you want to use samples. And then you will need some software, which is all free. You need to install the operating system on this, which is called Knolly, or Knolly, I don't know how to pronounce it. Then you will need something to be able to write the, the, the image to the Andel SD card. I usually use Balena Etcher, or you can use Rufus or something like that. Then you can also you also need to download and install the TNC headless build, the dirty weight tracker for the TNC, and then you will also need to install the M8 uh, M8 port on the on the console, which is a little bit more complicated. And you will need some software in order to upload um, the software, uh, the, the firmware on the on the TNC. You can do it on Mac using. A simple application which is called TNC Loader. I think it's for Windows as well. Or you can also use Thai Uploader. Every, everything is free in the software. And speaking of prices, the Ambernic console, well, the prices can vary between maybe 50, 60 dollars or euros of new. I bought mine used and I paid them about 30, 35 euros each. Then you will need to buy the, the TNC. Yeah, the TNC is quite expensive at the moment. It's about, again, 45 to 50 euros. I got, I got mine on Reichelt in Europe for 40 euros plus shipping. And then you will need um, SD cards and the price can, can, can depend on the size and the brand. And the, 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 the USB cable is inexpensive. So let's start first with the configuration of the TNC, which is also a little bit easier. And then we will deal with the installation on the console. And just keep in mind that once you have the, the TNC configured, you can also use it on your PC or Mac because there are uh, client applications that you can use on the Mac or on the, on the PC uh, with, the, with the TNC, or you can use a simple browser to uh, act as a client for the M8 build. So let's start with the TNC first. You need to go to the releases for the firmware, which is which you can find on Dirty Wave GitHub directly. Uh, you will find the link in the description. So I simply go, go in here and then you need to scroll down to the bottom of the page because these are all the different releases for starting from the first version and going down, okay, to the bottom of the page. Sorry, I need to bring it a little bit up. And at the moment, the most recent release is version 4.0.2. So you simply click on the X file to download it. 
you will have a raw file here and you can click here to download the raw file so you can simply click on download the raw file and then you simply store it on your hard disk whatever you like it and the second step will be to download the teensy loader application you can go to the link again the link is in the in the, in the description and you find the version from mac for linux and for windows so i'm simply clicking on here in my case because i'm using my mac and then uh, it shows you and it tells you how to uh, program the, the things, which is really, really simple. And then you can click here to download the disk image or the exit. So again, I'm downloading simply download the things. And in my case, I have already downloaded the things application and opened the, the the DMG file. The procedure will not be real different on, on Windows. You simply launch the application and it's very simple you simply click here to load and to open the x file that you just downloaded so i'm clicking here and bring in the yeah the firmware here the x file and usually you will need to press this small button and the application will tell you to press the reset button uh, to manually enter program mode sometimes you know, this will this will work automatically if I simply click here, you see the TNC here, and I click on the small button. So this is now ready to, to program, and so I simply need to click on this small program button in order to program the TNC. And that's basically it. And, and then you will need to use a SD card properly formatted, or a new SD card, and simply insert into the TNC. And now the TNC is ready to work. And we can try and connect it to the to the computer. And the easiest way to check if the TNC is working is probably to use a web browser. You can use Google Chrome, for example. I tested Firefox, it didn't work. And so you open up Google Chrome and you go to this website. Again, the link is in the description, but it's really easy. It's m8.run. And on the first connection, it will tell you what this is all about and you will also have instruction on how to operate the web interface so you click you click on ok and then you click on connect and if the connection is successful you will be prompted probably with permission to connect to a serial port in my case i'm using google on uh, google chrome on a mac so i simply go to connect and it's working okay you see here that okay he's asking me permission to use the the microphone and this is um a song i was working on so it 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 reverts back to that point so you can also have a listen to the to the song by just pressing the space bar And you can also use the arrow keys to control and to move around so you can confirm everything is working then we can move uh, in the different menu using the using the shift command you can find the, the the instruction on the on the on the website itself so we can also now try to execute a simple application and again you can download the application from the dirty wave um, website so it's a uh, it's not a web application in this case it's it's a simple port again it's another uh, application it's not a browser and i can go into here as well and i can move around and confirm that the firmware is working and now the second part will be to install the console uh, which divides it in two parts as well. So first we need to install the firmware or the operating system in here and then we need to install also the port in order to use the application on here. So first of all you can you need to download Nully or Knully and again the link is in the description. Those, this is the GitHub page. You scroll down and there are a lot of different versions and different images because each image is uh, for a specific device. So, for example, this is for RG28XX. In my case, I have downloaded this, which is for the 
uh, RG35XX or this is for the XXH which is horizontal and so here you have different versions and different kind of um, firmware so you simply click here and you download so for example let's download this you simply click here and then you download the image okay and now that we have downloaded we need to flash the SD card for the um, for the console using Balena Etcher, which again is available for Windows or for Mac. It's very simple. You simply click on Flash from file here. You select the file that you want to um, to specify and to use. So let me choose my software here. So you have here the Nolly version. So simply click on Open, and then you select the target. So the SD card when where you want to install everything. So I'm clicking here and choosing, just pay attention not to erase any of your disk. So I'm choosing this, which is my generic mass storage class media, which is a eight gigabyte uh, card. And then you simply click on flash to begin and to start the installation process. And this is this is going to take a little bit because the, 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 the flashing will take about 15 minutes, probably depending on, on the speed of your computer. You simply click on flash, at least on Mac, I need to use my password, and then the process will start. So after the boot is finished, you will find this kind of screen, and you can click here and browse. You can also hear the music, and you can scroll the different games that are basically pre-installed on the console. And you need to go to the settings for the Ambernic, just pressing the Start button, and then scroll down until you get to the Network Settings, which is about midway here and you click on network settings which is about uh, in the middle and then you simply press the select button and then you scroll down and you need to enable the wi-fi and then you need to specify your um, connection and also to give your password and so after this small uh, configuration the uh, the Ambernic should be able to work using the wi-fi you will probably also need to restart it in order to make it properly and whenever you start, just make note probably of the IP address of your console because this will have an IP address and it will also have a DNS name, which is usually Nolly, and you will need that to connect to, an, to the Unburning. So let's try now to connect to the console in order to upload the files needed for the port to work. And on Mac, it's easier because you can simply uh, use the terminal to log in uses SSH. And on Windows, you can use uh, a small program, a small utility called Putty, which again, you see the link in the description. So in order to connect to the console, I need to type something like this, SSH, which is the command to connect. And um, then specify the, the username, which is uh, root in this case at Nolly, which is the name of my console, the name that the console is available on the internet. If it doesn't work, you should need to use the IP address for the console. So let's click on this and let's see if it will work. Okay, it's telling me, yeah, the authenticity of the host. So this is my web host, my IP address. So I need simply want to trust it. So I need to specify yes. And then I need to insert the password for the Nolly system, which by default is Linux simply. Okay, so I simply here, I simply type in Linux. And that's it. So now we are into the console and we can move around to the system data and upload. But there is also um, an easiest method, at least on uh, Mac, which is simply to open a finder new finder window and simply go and connect to server and again I'm specifying here the name and or the IP of my console in my case I have this IP here which is my console connect now it's trying to connect and I need to specify the username again which is root and the password which is Linux 
and that's it. You need to go into the share partition, which is used for sharing software games and stuff like that. So you cl I click on share. And then into the share, you go to the ROMs, which is the folder used to store the game ROMs. And you will have here different folders for the, all the different games that the Unburning should is able to, to accept. And you scroll down up to ports because we need to upload a port. In my case, it's already, it's already here. So you need to download the port again and you will need to download it and then to upload it. So let's see how to download the port first and then how to upload it. And finally, the last part will be to install the M8C, which is the M8 client on the Unburning. So in order to do that, you need to download a zip file and I have put it on my website. This is the address. Again, the link is down in the description. So it's a simple zip file. So I'm simply clicking here and then downloading it to any, of course, any available folder. And then you simply need to unzip it. So on the Mac is just a matter of clicking on it. And you see here that we have only one file because actually we have another folder which is hidden. And so to reveal hidden files on a map, you need to press command, shift and the dot. And you see here that we now have a couple of uh, files, actually one file, a script file and a folder. And you need to grab these two and simply drag and drop them into the ports folder that we set up before and to the one to which we are connected. Okay, I'm not doing it because I already have the files, but you get the picture. And finally, once you have uploaded the, the port to Numbernic, you simply need to restart the Numbernic or even go to the setting again and scroll down and click actually on the first option here, which should be game settings and then to uh, update the game list. So confirm it. And now the port should be readily available. And if we, if we scroll up to the ports section, which is here, select ports and then scroll down to the M8 port, which is here and click on it. That's working. It is now disconnected because the USB with the TNC is connected to my Mac. So let's take the TNC out of the Mac. Take the adapter, which is pretty right here, and connect the TNC to the adapter and see what happens on the screen on the port on the burning. You see here we now have the TNC connected and the application is loaded and so whenever I click on start and bring up the volume you see I have the same song that I was showing you on the map which is now on the internet. And that's it. If you have issues, uh, write, write them down in the comment and I'll do my best to answer them and see you for another build and for another adventure with Unburning consoles. See you.